right now on Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock. Here's what's happening. While a bit blurry, a resident's camera captured a person in a red hoodie running from the area, and that's where the 76-year-old was being gunned down and murdered. Today is the first day of summer. It's Tuesday, June 21st, 2022. My Aunt Jessica is on assignment, and she is at home. This is CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock, streaming live on CBS News Philly. My name is William Jr., and I'm filling in for my favorite uncle of CBS 3, so he left me in charge. Let's kick off our news story tonight with one of our CBS 3 journalists of the foreseeable future. Oh dear, that's just scary to see things like that. Thank you, Jasmine. Today, a Los Angeles jury was found that Bill Cosby did some serious damage to a young lady by the name of Miss Judy. This is the throwback picture from 1975 when she was only 16 years old. This is the first time he's done something like this. Bill Cosby needs to be dealt with Despite the fact that he needs to stop doing those crazy things. In 2021, the stand-up comedian was released from prison after his conviction for assaulting Andrea Constant was being overturned. Andrew Wyatt, the spokesperson of Cosby, explains that the decision has to come out than the truth. You don't do things like that. Turn into our forecast right now on this Tuesday. Here's meteorologist Tammy Souza, my auntie, with her first check on tonight's weather. Go ahead, Aunt Tammy. We'll be watching. And evening. Uh, and tonight, we are looking at cloudy skies across Center City. We've seen a few spotty showers here and there, but not a real big deal. What we are tracking is the return of humidity. You felt it today. It was a little bit more muggy out there, right? We're also tracking that severe threat tomorrow and we are flirting with the 90s by the time we get into the weekend so we do have some big changes ahead right now it is 73 in philadelphia 61 in tobiana and 70 in cape may with a 75 for all of you in newark we hit 81 today in philadelphia but then the showers cool us off into the 70s during the evening hours speaking of showers on storm scan 3 we do have a line of showers moving from north to south over the same spot again and again we call that training we have clouds in place and a few showers that are trying to make their way down the shore that will be the case this evening. I think it's going to be actually tomorrow, later in the day, when we see all of this scooting our way. Off to the west, there's clearing, so we're sandwiched right in between both of them. Over the next 12 hours, we're going to actually see those clouds increase, and it doesn't look like we'll be wet until tomorrow afternoon, so I will time that out for you, let you know what the level threats are when I come back in. Looking forward to seeing your seven-day forecast. See you then. Thank you, Aunt Tammy. You can track the rough storms with the CBS3 weather team. The CBS Philly app is open to all devices. And now to the latest on what happened at City Hall. Eyewitness News was there as 
a general and his members of the embassy police entered City Hall today. So with that being said, a man from the Philippines was shot and killed with an Uber car, despite the fact that it was mistaken identity. Just stay with CBS3 for the continuing coverage of the gun violence that's happening in Philadelphia alone. Go to CBSPhilly.com or stream it with CBS News Philly. Mayor Jim Kenney said his office is working to figure out how his remains are definitely going to be coming into play. Philadelphia police are searching for a driver involved in a deadly hit and run in Germantown. It was a great Tesla car and it struck and killed a 21 year old victim as he was crossing Germantown and Coulter. Germantown and Coulter. And we're being told that anything could happen in a heartbeat. To the latest now on the New Jersey forest fire. The Wharton State Forest fire contains at least 95% of the time. And that's where the fire reached over 13,000 acres that grew in size. It wasn't natural, but to be honest though, it was an accident or maybe on purpose. The House Committee makes their fourth hearing today and we're being told that it was all part of the CBS News special report. Skylar Henry has the latest from the Capitol. Skylar, take it away, Uncle. Looking forward to seeing Thursday's hearing as soon as possible. We will have live continuing coverage of the Capitol assault hearings. You can watch it exclusively on the networks of CBS this Thursday, June 23rd. Thank you, Uncle Schuyler. Today, health workers began giving COVID-19 vaccinations to children over the age of five or anything else. It appears that when you vaccinate people, it's going to be safe, no matter what you might feel, folks. Carrie Carrado has the story. Carrie, good evening to you. Well, says children six months and older are eligible to receive the COVID-19 vaccine. The shots can be given out at drugstores, health clinics, and doctor's offices. But in Pennsylvania, children three years and younger must go to a doctor's office to receive the shot. One, two, three, all done. That's Dr. Mack. His goal is to provide a safe and fun vaccine experience. His energy, creative approach, and calm demeanor is something admired by parents. Was he the coolest guy who's ever given you a shot? Yes. You can get a vaccine anywhere, but when you get an experience, hopefully the positive message we're sending with the vaccine will uh, 
our children not to be scared even in the future. Parents lined up one by one with their kids inside the pharmacy. Appointments are constantly being booked. I really haven't seen any fear in any parents' eyes yet. Um, I've seen tears, and tears of happiness. It's the best thing in the world. I could cry. Right now, we cried when the appointment was made, when the announcement was made. It's just, it's been a long two years. And you are so brave. Yeah. Parents add, it's been a long time coming. I've worked through the whole thing, so my kids have been in daycare the whole time. We've been quarantined way too many times, so it's it's a relief. It's always a relief when you get vaccinated with COVID-19. Thank you, Carrie. As we continue tonight, we have lots more top stories. Like... The Uvalde update. There are stunning new details about the response to the Delhi school shooting that happened on May 24th. Plus, the pools are open for business despite the fact that it's the first day of summer and a warning for sunscreen. Doctors start to restrict that using it can be shocking and sometimes it can be fatal. Eyewitness News continues after after a short time out, stay with us.